<clears throat> All right. Um, hey, hey, M. Hayashi, please uh, like and subscribe. Do it now. Just do it so you won't forget. And yeah, um, we're going to try Obosh again, Pioneer. Uh, pretty much similar. I know I've been kind of doing Pioneer ad nauseum. Um, but, uh, you know, um, I do want to explore the format more. And at the same time, I can make content. And I hope it's, I hope I'm not going to totally alienate my, um, my viewer base. But, um, you know, I don't even know. I don't know if all of these are going to actually get published. But at least, hey, I already recorded four matches. Unfortunately, the fifth match, fifth match was lost. Um, so, yeah. So, unfortunately, we don't get to see the conclusion. I know. Unfortunate. But, uh. Yeah, I hope you all enjoy um, pretty, you know, cards that I think I've gone over already. Candy Trail, though, in the main, this is kind of doing a simulacrum of a Maze Mind Tome. The thing is, Maze Mind Tome is just, uh, is just like, almost better in every way. So that alone is kind of a reason to think of uh, just, you know, going companion list. But, hey, um, we do get to play Obosh. I'm not sure how much that's going to come into handy, but let's, uh, let's, let's take it for a spin and go from there. Okie dokie. All right, all right. This is an argument for Candy Cane right here. Um, yeah. Ooh, just trying to work off a headache here. Okay, let's see what they're playing. Ooh, do do do. you get them? I'm guessing it's probably Boros. Uh, heroic, but you know, it could literally be anything. Okay, it's this deck. And, uh, and by this deck, I mean I don't have the slightest clue what this is. both of them, but I also kind of am worried about getting mana flooded. Although I did like that mana. Sometimes I wish Fable put the cards on the bottom of your library, because I want to be able to put these mountains on the bottom so I can fetch them out. I had last out in this matchup. I'll probably stomp the Spyglass Siren if they cracked the Blood Token, which they didn't. It's gonna wait up. What if they play a hasty creature of some kind? Gaining three life could come in handy. Hmm. So it's not flying. And discover three is powerful. <coughs> Still, <clears throat> win or lose, I think the correct decision here is to play the Bone Crusher. Please put the Gintan in the hand. 
<coughs> or please actually just have nothing to do and forget to put your gun in your hand. All right, well, I don't like Discover 3, but I like taking 4 damage even less. And uh, they might have some income spell. I have no idea. <laughs> um, okay. Well, <clears throat> it goes into their hand, I guess. That's a good thing about Discover, is they don't have to cast it, so go to their hand. I think I can play around this, though. token to make it cost two. <clears throat> Ooh, smuggly copy. Alright, so we're gonna do... We're going to do this. We want to play around Metallic Rebuke. So I think if I hit exactly stomp, but I'm more likely to hit a torch the tower or well, I hit torch, but torch the witness, not torch the tower. Last card in the hand besides metallic is Shrub the Must, looks like. these demolition films are. We're crafting. It's not bad, I just think. I just think burning down the house is better. Hopefully we draw more removal that game. We do so much, uh, so much, you know, draw. It's a little... Okay. Alright, this is at least slightly more burn. Although one of these is a very late game type burn spell. <sighs> I 
I have like 20 burn spells, don't I? Yeah, 20 burn spells. And... No, wait a minute. No, I got 24 burn spells. Yeah, I'm certainly not wanting for burn spells, although it certainly felt like that last game. Yeah, I only actually have 12 dig cards. I have 12 dig cards and 24 burn spells, <laughs> but I couldn't draw burn spells somehow. Uh, whatever. I don't want to wait to crack because if I draw a removal spell, I want a creature to actually be able to hit. could be quite helpful. I could research desk though. But let's hold off on that for now. That was Dark Steel Citadel we printed in, I wonder. Uh, I'm gonna just try to put glass on. Hope they don't have some kind of weird tails end or. Tishana's Tridebinder. This is more of a modern card, even though technically, of course, it's a new card, but I think it doesn't see as much play in Pioneer. Yeah. Let's synth. Okay. I think I'm in, I think I'm uh, kind of obligated to keep that. Now I have some choices. I think just for mana efficiency we'll do this. I'm expecting this to get metallic rebuked, but I have frostbite as a fallback anyway. Okay, 
Hopefully I draw land, and hopefully I don't have Metallic Rebuke to draw land. <sighs> Alright. Got her, you don't. Actually, I guess Metallic Rebuke wouldn't really... Let's see, like, if they double burn spell, they pretty much have me anyway, don't they? You don't notice as much when you lose the game. Well, I don't know. It's probably overly aggressive. The definition of sass. Still gonna keep two back. Some might say I'm being overly conservative, but also protects me from a second and soul artifact. Murex time. Part of me almost wonders if I should actually play Murex instead of more fields. Uh oh. Torch the tower. Okay, well. I'm trying to balance the line between actually winning and blocking, but maybe I didn't balance it well enough. What happened to their token they made? Was it just me or they made a they made a token? Oh they they scried. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Should I bugbear? I guess holding back two really did save my butt, as opposed to just one. My logic is just very simple, and I know Torch the Tower can't hit creatures, but my logic is essentially that if they have two burn spells, they can burn me out, for the most part. But it would have to be like, play with fire and something else. Uh-oh, I think they can cast Sharpen Blast. Why can't they? 
Why can't they solve? Why is this case? Well, I guess they can. I guess it's just it has summoning sickness, right? I guess I'm going for the jugular. They'll obviously block this and then take five. They block goblin token. I'll take four down to three. done misplayed this actually I guess I could stomp to finish off the other card but then I died of the counter swing yeah shouldn't have shouldn't have done that but well at least at least I at least I change from a full misplay to a partial misplay. Okay, uh, nothing I can do to stop that, but it doesn't kill me outright either. Making it exile doesn't actually. Maybe they might stop me though to just finish it off. Okay. Clue or stomp? I think clue. I guess now I go for it, right? Because I don't really have, I don't really have another choice. There's no downside to I think waiting on their upkeep, because you never know if they hadn't talked they might have. Still played something in a turn. I don't know why, but is it a little tiny upsides? <sighs> wow, that was that was a close one. <sighs> man, that was that was man. Decks like this make me wonder about playing um Soul Seer or whatever that card's called. Rebel Salvo, I guess. An argument could be made for Rebel Salvo, but Nahiri's War Crafting is just so much better in most matchups. I still might be able to pull this one off. There's so much indestructible, though, actually, in Pioneer. But there's also a lot of decks that don't have it, and those decks are very powerful, too. One of the things I'm noticing is these um, burn spells actually kind of don't do anything. But they only seem like that because... They only seem like that because, yeah. I think we have to... Yeah. We don't actually know how powerful the uh, strip mine effects really are. Because we've always been kind of fighting on the back foot the whole time. Yeah, well, beggars can't be choosers, right? 
Beggars can't be choosers. I would really like a blast zone, but what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Da, 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 da. Guaranteed, I can do. Let's see if they spell pass me. Okay. Uh, this definitely the bottom. As cool as Frostbite is, I think I need to put that to the bottom too. Smuggler's Copter. Suddenly, I'm liking that. Uh. Suddenly, I was feeling, I'm feeling that, um, frostbite more. I'm going to wait for the smuggler's copper to tap. So that they can't metallic rebuke me. shown me anything in games one or two to indicate that there's a scarier card for them to play. Seems really good. I think I have to do this or forever hold my peace. Hopefully, I don't spell pierce me, bro. But I, I couldn't pass up the uh, mana efficiency here. Play around the gate, okay. And I play around with them using it to activate Smuggler's Copter. Uh, I could play another creature, of course. Artifact. Fair enough. Does it still get the, uh, yeah, still gets the advantage? Yeah, I think I need Blast Zone. I need Blast Zone right away. I wish I could do something more about that, but I don't think I can.
Sorry, I just have to look up something. Okay, let's do this here. So at least I can take this down, but I need a blocker. And I might have no one. I can get it flying. Mm, but this isn't indestructible, though. But I need to be able to deal with both of these, though. That's the problem. Mm, actually, if I draw... And here he's Warcrafting. Nope. Um, let me see if there is anything I can draw. I doubt it. I think Warcrafting is pretty much the only one. Oh, you know what else would have done it? The, um, the, uh, oh no, that wouldn't have done it because it's only five. Alright. So far, I hate Pioneer. Field. Also bottom. I don't know. I'm gonna hope this is like a a match of where creature removal gets me there. Okay, if it's the matchup I think it is, then creature removal will probably get me there. This is a combo piece, so I will I will stomp it if they don't present something better. But I think that qualifies as something better, so I think getting a creature out here is just pretty decent. to know from experience that they play a limited number of uh, basic lands. And they generally play white rather than black. So let's go after... or green for that matter. I guess in theory, I could drop mana, combo off next turn. Yep, that's fine. I don't really have a response anyway. Oh, they 
actually they actually hit the combo. At least they destroy all that other nonsense. So probably I have to draw Bone Crusher in order to block here. Pretty much the only way. Um, in theory, if this wasn't like 22, I might have actually been able to outlife it. normally would be okay but I think yeah I think in this matchup what well, candy trail is kind of nice for the life gain I think uh, yeah but all the fields and everything are good so candy trail is the easiest card to take out here Maybe I should just move to 28 lands, actually, in my deck, now that I think about it. Because... Yeah, because these lands are almost like spells. Huh. I never really thought of that possibility until now. That could completely... reorient. How I build these decks. No, I think the last one's just too clunky in most matchups. In Pioneer at least. At least more clunky than Fields. And that handle is looking pretty good, but If it wasn't for bullshit like mono black, um, whatever the fuck it's called, um, waste not and uh, mono green, mono green, bullshit motion stuff like that, I, I I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind like dropping a game or two to like to the decks like this, but like when you've got these stupid one sided matchups, it really makes you it really makes you want yeah I'll keep I, mean, I got the blast on. I mean, like, it makes you feel like you, you have to win the matchups that are not, like, that bad. I don't know. Maybe I just hate magic. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But maybe I do, actually, because... But that's, like, all gaming. Like, fighting games are the same bullshit. Like, you pick E-Honda, and then your opponent picks DJ, and then you just can't win. You pick, uh... Yeah, you pick Zangief, and then your opponent picks you Honda, and then you can't win. <laughs> maybe all gaming is bullshit. Maybe all, maybe maybe life is bullshit actually, because like sports is the same thing. You know, some teams just can't beat other teams. Like what was it the Giants can't beat the? I forget what it is. <sighs> I'll probably torch the tower. Um, just for mana efficiency, and also because I need. Hmm. 
Warcrafting is pretty good. Yeah, let's just torch the torch the witness. Seems like overkill, but hey. Yeah, maybe life is just bullshit. Kind of leaning towards that actually. Not, you know, that doesn't mean I'm not, I'm not like I'm not gonna go full Frederick Nietzsche on y'all. Don't worry, no, no danger of that whatsoever. I feel like at the core of it, like almost all major religions, acknowledge the bullshitness of the world to some extent. So. It's just life. Life is bullshit. Okay, so we know there's almost certainly going to be a... a you know what. So just in case, let's maintain the option of playing a stomp plus torch here. The combo doesn't work with just Amalia and Wild Growth. They need a, an ex, a card that either gains life or explores. Okay. Um. Technically, this is a combo piece, so maybe we maybe we go after this too. I know it seems weird, but it also it also powers down their um their quarter calling. So as sort of overly overly aggro that may sound. Oh, they must have the basic planes in their hand. Lovely. Next time we'll try to take them off of green. Okay. So obviously they can they can do this in response, but that's okay. Okay, record. Recording is a lot less scary than uh, Collected Company. That's a very fair core target. Hmm, they could in theory combo me next turn. But still think this is the best plan because they're going to have to have all, not only a land in their hand and they, they'll need to draw they're, they're missing land or combo piece which isn't impossible plus they don't actually wouldn't actually win this turn well there's the missing green land okay okay hopefully they don't have collected company i would assume they had collected company last turn Let's do this. Uh, Torch the tower seems pretty good. You would think this is a matchup, or burn down the house would be a 
would be at its best. But actually, maybe like as a two of or something. The problem is, like, what do I take out, right? I actually think the volatile faults and the blast zones are both kind of more critical. It's possible I might be overrating blast zone. Maybe burn down the house is just better. Here's my concern about burn down the house, though. If I if I apparently burn down the house on my turn, they can just end of turn collective company and then just win on their turn. Collected company, I mean, just win on their turn. All in all, I think my 20, I'm just going to rely on my 20 targeted removal. Let's see here. Soska. I do have double frostbite. Torch is good against is good against some stuff. I think at the end of the day, the instant speed though is going to be pretty, pretty nice. So I'm going to try to use my sorceries. I might want to hold one of these though, just for the walker thingy to do there. Okay, there's the walker thingy to do there. Okay. I think I'm going to do there. I think... I think I'm going to torch the witness. Father Shaman. I really want to hit my land drop just that bad. I also want to keep them off of green mana. Keeping them off of green mana seems like legit fire. I'm not so worried maybe about Torch. I'll do this. I don't have some weird. The, the thing about Torch is it's a good answer to that uh, disturbed creature. We'll see. Amalia. Oh, yeah. ha, 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 ha. Okay, that's good. I like it. I'm going to do this in case I draw like a... Yay. That's exactly what I was hoping I'd draw. This must be so mind-boggling and frustrating on their side. But they're playing, they're playing bullshit, so who cares? Sentinel... Okay, I should be able to deal with that. Let's see, I might want to hit this. Because that will also give me the triple red that I need. Torch the witness, or what's it called? Would be probably nice. Uh, maybe change the plans. I think it's got to be this. Just keeping them off mana seems very... You know, seems very good. Next turn I can double frostbite, but keeping them off mana prevents them from playing more nonsense, if you know what I mean. So clearly they have to map token, I think, because they, they got they gotta push to more lands. If I feel particularly greedy, I could actually angle for Obosh into in juice frostbite, but I don't know. So get to play the giant. I think it's nice. I 
right, that's good. Next turn, I have lethal. Yay. I like it. Okay, sorry to keep the opponent from waiting. Uh, hopefully, and I might just time out, so I might get what I deserve anyway. Well, I would hope that at least one advantage to keeping Candy Trail, playing Candy Trail, is being able to uh, scry two to the bottom on turn one. It's not quite as good as Preordain, but it's not bad. And I do think Candy Trail is better. We, it, you know, both Mishers and this dig two cards deep. But if this misses, I don't have to lose a card. Oh, and uh, that's a that's a hit on both accounts. Alrighty. like it's Phoenix. Phoenix! I, I butchered that. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's, let's candy it up. Demolition some fields. Considering I got nothing instant speed to play, I might as well play Mishra. At least they're playing that stuff on their turn instead of ours, so that, you know, I mean, that are doing our turn instead of theirs. So, you know, maybe they don't have enough to Phoenixize it. They're probably trying to get a third land drop, though. That's the cool thing about one, one mana blue cantrips, though, is they help, tend to help you find your land drops. But not always. Oh, but here they do. Okay. their attack. Please don't discard another phoenix. Okay. Not bad. I think what I need to do is to steam vents here. I guess I could have done that on their turn. But yeah, the re my reasoning is, is if I unlock another blue mana, I want them to play it on my turn rather than theirs. Although I guess here it doesn't make that big of a difference. Although if it was consider, could have. It's a very marginal difference.
Slide of hand. Okay. There's a cruise. Treasure Cruise. Sorry for the little pause and commentary. I am. Um Had something going on. some instant speed or ideally even towards the tower interaction well <laughs> yeah uh, hilarious um, I mean I, I guess let me see here I want to get a land drop well I, can't, I can't think I can pass pass up on towards the tower can I Yeah, Torch the Tower is just so infinitely better. Hopefully they're out of basics, although sometimes they play a third. You know what, we're gonna... We're gonna cast with Bargain. Oh, definitely on top. Alrighty. This point. Da, 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 da. Slight of hand. Let's just not demolition fuel and upkeep. I need that. I need that to uh, torch the tower. Free the Fey. Oh no, another Arclight Phoenix. I wish for once they could get stuck with some of those in their hand, but hey, it is what it is. Let's do this. And I think I, I have to try to keep them off of mana. So here's my logic here. I know it seems very frivolous, but if I do this, 
it can prevent them from uh it like either it causes them to deck faster or it prevents them from casting at least one of those and slowing down their rate of deployment of threats seems not bad to me yes yeah, yeah, slowed them slowed them down at least one turn Um, I could torch the witness for three. I mean, I guess if they got spell pierce, they got spell pierce, but uh, they have to have spell pierce by now, right? Yep, they have to have spell pierce, so I'm just going to do this. I mean, if I reveal a non-land card, I might still might be able to cast it. That actually wasn't a good argument. That was a good argument to torch the witness, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, fair enough. That's actually even better. Okay. Um, let's see here. I guess we can torch the witness. I think I might as well do that. Play around spell pierce too. I mean, I wonder if they're ever gonna run out of spells. So I'm gonna hold up frostbite, and my reasoning is, is like, look, if they 
Maybe we can tank the hit anyway if they don't have more card draw. Or what do you call it? Cantrips, I guess. Okay.
Okay, sorry, sorry, just uh, early in the morning, I've got to respond to some some things. Sorry about that. Okay. I mean, I think they, they blow so much time on their um, spinning their wheels that literally, I think we still still pull this off here. Uh, so how necessary is Candy Trail? Honestly, probably not that necessary. Oh, Frostbite. I don't think Frostbite is that necessary. Um... Yeah, I think Nahiri is just a little clunky, but I don't know. It's hard to say. You know what? You know what? I'm actually I'm gonna I'm gonna play Nahiri. No, can't. No, I have to play Nahiri because they have they have Drake. Yeah, I'm gonna play Strangle because of um the ability to hit a turn two, Ledger Shredder. If they wait till turn three to play Ledger Shredder. Then they play right into my Warcrafting. What I don't like, though, is having so much sorcery. Oh, uh, Bone Crusher should be Frostbite. Dang it! Yeah, I almost never play Bone Crusher as a creature in this matchup. Okay. I think most of their artifact hate is on two with a braid. So yeah, sorry, get back to commentary. Probably I'm on the keep them off of red plan again. <laughs> Especially if they miss a land drop, that'd be sweet. <laughs> Alright, since I don't have a Phoenix in the yard, I don't think it makes that big of a difference. So I'll wait till their draw step. Uh, unless they put a Phoenix in the yard from that. Okay, they don't. I'm going to wait until their draw step, because that gives them one more turn to draw a um, basic island. Really put an island to the bottom? I guess. See, if they drop um, Ledger Shredder here and play a spell, then I can Warcrafting. Now, if they drop Ledger Shredder and don't play a spell, though, that could be another story. If I learn one thing, hold on to the lanterns. I was not expecting them to just uh, <laughs> play that right into, but I guess I didn't have a choice because I have to be conscious of the timing. So. so I'll probably win this anyway, so I shouldn't let that get to me.
I'll play into a spell first because it looks like they're holding up the gate anyway. Okay, fair enough. Man, that, that, uh, cracking the lantern would have been so sweet. Kept them off of, uh, multiple spells here. They need a treasure cruise so bad. But I've been there before where, like, basically half my deck in and I don't draw it. I'm not going to crack this because I need to hold up mana for Nahiri. Uh, research desk. What do you think here? Yeah. Let's go. Well, Lantern at a loss seems pretty good, although I could get smacked by a hall. Let's go. Yeah, that's a good one. this too just because I want to not bleed value from Lantern. And I like Torch, but I can't rely on Let's do this first. This way I have a mana open. So let's see, they'll probably play, you know what? Iteration. I'll, I'll probably, yeah, okay. I don't like playing this many lands. That's the only problem. Definitely Frostbite. It's better than Bone Crusher. Yeah, the reason why I have one more slot in the Companions version is because I play Buzz Crusher. I think Buzz Crusher though might be actually might actually be a little dubious now that I think about it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I need the red mana though in case they in case they blitz me with an early um <sighs> Maybe I need candy candy though. Maybe this is good enough though. Lantern into a braid. I mean, I guess I probably need, probably should have done it the other way, but this way I can play synthesizer next turn. Okay, I still played that anyway. response to their uh, in response to their conniving I can um, torch the tower I guess that would have been a good argument for a research desk I actually want to play around um, Brothers Brotherhood's End. I have seen them play that in the past. I think I have to do this now so that I um so that I can always maintain cracking the lantern. cycle. I do have another one waiting in the wings, so should be okay. Could put homage to hand, but that's probably gonna crack synthesizer. Is nice, but I could go without it. Hmm. 
Okay, fair enough. I guess this is a good torch the witness target, right? creature so I don't get the clue token. Alright, fair enough. Should I juice blocks on into right into a braid? Kind of seems unnecessarily risky, doesn't it? Yeah, it does seem unnecessarily risky. I guess. Playing slightly faster, which does count for something. both their phoenixes, so good to keep that in mind. Okay, let's see, can I, I can play, I'm probably going to juice the blast zone instead of playing the homage. Huh. I also do have strangle. This just seems too juicy though, too. I don't want to expose Lantern to getting uh, braided.
I could take another hit. I actually think I'm going to do this. Taking a hit from Arc Light is very risky, but I'll assume that risk. For some reason, I keep thinking Treasure Cruise only delves in Sins and Sorceries, but am I bad? I think I'm about to pull ahead on the clock here. Just officially pulled ahead on the clock. Fair enough. Very fair. Very fair, very fair. Prevents me from deploying a wash. So I guess I'll do this instead then. So can't use it up to four for Drake, so might as well. It's okay. I mean, they have to, they're getting very close to decking like that. All right, well, now's as good as time as ever to crack it. Thank goodness there's no Phoenix in there. I could play Bugbear. Oh, yeah, this seems like an obvious choice. I actually hit this because then six because then maybe maybe this takes them off of uh, 
off of Drake. Okay, okay, that's good. Let's see. What we reveal. So that is a good one. So I'm going to hold up. I know it seems like I should attack, but A, they could have a removal spell. B, I need to juice this up to 4 if they have um, Drake. Uh, and C, I need to uh, block Hall of the Storm Giants if that's where they're going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I could even blow Blast Zone and keep this up, but I think Blast Zone is slightly more versatile. So here's what I can do I can do this, double attack with Bugbear. still threatening lethal next turn unless they have a removal spell for this too, which they might, but okay, fair enough, at least. Uh, all right. I guess they had to use the Ottawara. Uh, now I'm just worried they dropped Drake, and then we have no answer. It seemed like going for the win, though, was good. Oh. We could still draw another burn spell. Hope they don't have negate. I guess that's GG, right? Wow. Frickin' Phoenix. Okay, match. <coughs> match four. Let's go. All right. Turn one candy trail. Don't mind if I do. An argument could be made, though, to wait on candy trail until I have a better idea what I'm scrying for. I think at this point I'm scrying for field. Plus, Candy Trail curves very nicely, turn one to turn two. Bam. Uh, I don't know what I'm up against. I'm going to put both to the bottom, just because I really don't want to get mana screwed. Looks like Phoenix really wish I didn't put that torch the tower to the bottom. It might not be Phoenix though, I don't know, we'll see. Let's 
Certainly looks like Phoenix. I should have known they always come in batches. Then again, I also need to just get more fields too, even if against Phoenix. Oof. Well, that, never mind. I fully, I fully agree with uh, putting those two on the bottom because I need to hit my land drops. Okay. Okay, treasure cruise. Oh, okay, fair enough. I really hope I just naturally hit a land drop here. Come on, we can do it. I think I have to do this because I really need to hit those land drops. And there we go. I mean, you know, win or lose, at least Candy Trail helped me hit my land drops. That it did. That it did. <laughs> I have like so many burn spells, but with Phoenix, you know, there's only so many that really matter. Okay, hit fifth line drop, please. Well, you know, this is still pretty good. Once again, this card helps me hit my land drops. I also like the way it's better than Fable against Spell Pierce. That sucks, though. That was like the last card I wanted to reveal. Plus, they know about it now, too. They're drawing so many cards. I'll wait till they're crossed up. there. This card. Hiding. I almost don't want to put a creature to the graveyard. Ashiok, fair enough. I think, I think I'm going to try to Warcraft Arclight. I mean, clearly Warcrafting is the move, but I don't want to play right into Spell Pierce. Hopefully I draw land. I don't. Um... Yeah, this is a little tricky. Or is it? Maybe it's not. I just hit this. I didn't fetch. Oh, because of Ashiok. <sighs> that sucks. That sucks, yeah. Yeah. I remembered that last time. Oh, I forgot it this time.
I will play on. Fight on. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do this. I don't think Bone Crusher makes that big of a difference. Every little bit of life point saved is a life point earned. I don't think I want to play a torch to the tower right into Spell Pierce. I think it's worth it's worth waiting. Just in case they've got some kind of Something else up their sleeve. Try to clues. I will continue to play around spell pierce. So I will frostbite. At least they're still somewhat limited in their phoenixes. Oh no, they got two of them. Frostbite. I was supposed to not smack in with the hull. There's a third Phoenix. That's getting more crafted. It's time to step into the world of Warcraft. Right. Da, 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 da. Come on, I want a red source. Pretty, pretty, please. I'm gonna go thinking about. Okay. Well, hey, front. Oh, red source was good. Let's actually um, bargain this here. Maybe we'll get our red source yet. OK. 
Okay, at least they're using it on our turn. Oh, one last, our final Arclight Phoenix. Alrighty. I think they got me dead on board, actually. I needed to kill that Phoenix. And by dead on board, I meant with the Hall of the Storm Giants, but of course, because the ancients are sorceries, that'll do it too. Oh, please cast a, um, a draw spell, then treasure cruise. Someone did cast a treasure cruise, then like temporal fissure or temporal trespass. Well, they're prolonging it. No, no, actually, that's nice 12 damage. 12, 13. Yeah. All right. I don't think I lost because of that misplay with uh, Ashiok, although it certainly didn't help. Um. We definitely want the Lancer, I definitely want the Blast Zone. One thing we don't need is Bone Crusher. Yeah, and of all the cards to take out, probably Candy Trail. Although Candy Trail can help me find. Help me find the cards I want, the cards I need. It's possible I don't need Torch the Witness, though, actually. Or, and it's possible I don't need Nahiri. You know what? I don't think I need Nahiri, actually. No, actually, who am I kidding? I, 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 this helps deal with out-of-control nonsense. Maybe it's actually Frostfight. They do play a lot of uh, early creatures, though, out of the sideboard. If I keep them off of red, that de facto keeps them off of Drake. Yeah, you know what? I like Nehiri's one for crafting. We're going to try without it. This could be a mistake. But... See, I think what I need to do, though, is just power through to find as many lanterns and torches as possible. So I think the main thing is... Alrighty. Since I think a breed is their main artifact hate... We can play this without having to worry. Definitely feel more hot about having two frostbites in my hand than two uh, here is warcrafting. Okay, that's a torch the witness. I think if I've ever seen one. That's a torch the tower. If I think I've ever seen one. This is one reason I prefer torch the witness over the here is warcrafting. Is um, I could use this later. And I also don't have to use it right away once I, you know, activate it. Okay. Or lightning axe, probably spell pierce. Oh, I 
forgot they can take the Fey, I guess. Brazen Marler. Yeah, they can take a Fairy. Also glad I've got Frostbite for Brazen Borrower. They didn't have a Braid while I was tapped out last time, so I probably can crack the clue with Impunity. We need to draw some cards now. Did they fail to find? Maybe they did. Which is actually pretty huge, if so. Yeah, I'll strangle. Frostbite, but I think Blast sounds better. As you my kid, and of course I didn't like Frostbite. What was I going to do with that anyway? Okay, let's Mishra's, Mishra's some research desk in it. Let's do this, because if we draw a field, we'll play that. <sighs> kind of want mountain. I don't want to expose Lancer to getting abraded, so. Man, where are all my fields, though? I do have 12 of them. Yeah, that's getting uh that's getting frostbitten while well, they can't negate. Well, this this is where this is where having Obosh in the tank signs. Do I think it's going to make that big of a difference when they have Lava Axe? No. But, okay, well, they played Treasure Cruise. You know, I could crack, but I'm not going to. I mean, these are real cards, though, that they have to sacrifice to, to play, you know what I mean? I'm going to let them treasure cruise, because I just can't really stop it. Okay. I'm not going to... I'm not going to expose the lantern to getting abraded. I could play Obosh, but I think that's pretty much completely pointless at this point. I can I can juice this all the way up to four, if really need be. Okay. I'm gonna torch the tower. If they kill it, I've still got Lantern in the pocket. Okay, good. could juice this all the way up to three. But two is just a much more provably relevant number. I'm 
not the biggest fan of that. I don't think I need that much red. Just do this so that, uh, yeah, this is about time. So I'm going to do this now. to deploy Obosh until I can take care of all their red sources. That's the idea, at least. Man, I want some candy canes or, or uh, at, you know, more research desks, more, um, more, what do you call them, synthesizers. I need more draw, man. Okay, fair enough. They are low on red sources. That could be our saving grace here. Could be our saving grace. <sighs> Should I play out Obosh? No, I'm sticking to my guns. I can double attack with Bugbear in response, though. And since they don't have a braid mana up, we do this. Attack with double bugbear. I mean, how nutso can they go next turn? Well, I feel like not so nutso that I can't mop up with a uh, with blast zone on four plus lantern. And like just getting two goblin tokens here just seems a little too. Ridiculously good. The legend is ready. Please, no Phoenix. Yes, not a Phoenix. Treasure Cruisy Cruise. It is a Treasure Cruisy Cruise. That's very gutsy. I should be able to at least hit for six. Bring him out of four. If I draw another uh, volatile fault, then I think I think we're pretty much in the clear. Oh, 
Okay, not a volatile fault, but still extremely good. The goblin token, I'm sure. Okay, no. Attack for six. Ready. That is fine. We'll probably blast zone for two at under turn. Or blast zone for four. If they get the Phoenix back, clear the path. I'm not sure how they can avoid double bug bear attack. We shall see. Okay, well that's definitely a blast zone on two. Already. Already, already, already. I think I run it back because with this low on time. I definitely do like having the cheap, the cheap removal, but I do need to still respect. It's still like candy trail though. It does help. Rather play against Phoenix and Model Black. Uh, waste not. Let's go. Hopefully they don't turn to a braid. But I don't. I probably can't resist. Although Spell Pierce is kind of brutal. Maybe I. Maybe I can and I should resist. Also, because if they play a cantrip, I can snipe it. Little differences like that could matter. Okay, this is where I'm glad I have. I kept the strangle in. Definitely strangle. And just for mana efficiency's sake, and because they at least can't spell pierce me here, I'll do this. If they abrade me, they abrade me, so be it. Okay, I can torch the witness. Which I'm sure I will. Yeah, you can count on it, I will. Wait a minute. Let's not torch the witness. That was about to be a big disaster. Torch the tower, man. It sounds somewhere off one of these days. I'm going to cast it by accident. Okay, well I've got the Frostbite and the Torch the Tower. Actually, maybe I Torch the Tower just because... Not Torch the Tower, Torch the Witness. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to Torch... I'm actually going to Torch the Witness. Because I, I do need to start drawing some cards. And that's a very efficient... And I can, I can double Frostbite, Torch, whatever, if need be. So they haven't punished me with a, um, a Braid yet. Okay. A 
Okay. I may have to hold up for storm actually. I definitely don't think volatile faulting so much so soon is the answer either. I think I will at least volatile fault this. Just because um if I can keep them from casting Drake, that's pretty you know, worth consideration. Five mana treasure cruise. Yes, that's so nice about treasure cruise. It's still actually half decent even off of five mana. Storm Giants, but but I also just think that's probably better. Okay. Okay. Let's candy it up. So I'll respond to frostbite in response to the uh, activation. I mean, in response to the conniving. I do have Torch the Witness, so I think I should be okay. use both my clue tokens, I guess. I 
I think I'm going to do this even though I lose a research desk. Okay. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to frostbite. I'm worried about negate here. I'm going to frostbite, deal three. And I'm going to torch the witness for x equals one. So that'll be an overflow. Yeah, I knew it, so I'm going to torch. Nice try, but I do have an answer. They could smack me with Hull, though, so I, I can't I can't celebrate too much just yet. But them taking an entire turn off seems like it's got to be at least a little good for me. Okay, I might have to torch in response, although... Okay, I'm gonna, definitely going to save the torch for that. Well, that's a good blast zone on two, so. Okay, no point in tracking the treasure tokens just yet. Um, first, let's scry. Yeah. We have to put both to the bottom. Although, Synthesizer is tempting, but, I mean, mana isn't unlimited here, though. Wow. Yeah, this could get very bad very quickly. Okay, thank goodness. Um, yeah, so look, I don't like having to use a Torch the Tower here, but clearly it's the lesser of two evils. <sighs> Putting me under a good amount of pressure, and I'm really feeling it for not targeting the Storm Giants. Pocket Prankster. You gotta cast another spell. Could drop land, activate hall. Fair enough. Yeah, I may have to lose the Lantern, but I can't deal with another Phoenix coming out here. And I do at least get to draw a card for my troubles. That's exactly what I needed. I think this is pretty free. And that is very free. I think they still have Temporal Fissure though, which is a little scary. can at least gain some life.
No, they have another Drake. Okay, God. Good. I can't play Fissure off of six mana, right? Well, pfft. color me. Color me, I don't know what, because this, this is going to be one of the sickest Blast Zones of all time. Do need to draw a card, though. Do have the brazen bar? Where they do have also 35 seconds. I got mana mana flooded though. I don't think they can win in 15 seconds. And two cards left in the library. Phoenix always produces some interesting games, and and a little, just a tiny, um, GGs maybe. Oh, he already he already exited. Okay. Okay. Post league wrap up, and unfortunately, um, we did uh lose the fifth match. Um. Unfortunately, I cannot rely on Magic Online anymore to actually save the replays for me to post League afterwards. So I may just have to like you know do an empty recording if I if I for whatever reason can't do the voiceover live, which sucks because that takes up a lot more space. On the other hand, you know it, it ensures the same length video, but it's also more cumbersome for me to have to dub over. Although I guess I can just skip ahead in the video when I uh, dub over it. So yeah, I guess I guess that would work. You know I do have to like take some more space on the computer in the meantime, but it's okay. Uh, anywho, um, yeah, so we face the usual, is it Phoenix, Amalia, um, let me see, yeah, Amal we did get to see how, in how, um, Amalia is quite susceptible to the, uh, the semi-Ponza strategy here, uh, unfortunately the, um, is, is it, uh, is it Artifacts or Affinity or whatever they, they're calling it nowadays? That is um a little bit of a concern here, and I guess uh yeah Phoenix Phoenix um I think is one of the better matchups. Yeah, I mean obviously it's not like we win it every single time, but you know hey um. Yeah, we did go 3-2, so I don't even know what the fifth match was. Uh, whatever it was, we lost it, unfortunately. Um, it could have... I got a feeling it was a, it was Is It Phoenix, and I couldn't record it, and then they got me on the on the third. Um, sometimes that can happen if you just draw a bunch of... You know, if you just draw a bunch of, like... Um, if you don't draw enough uh, strip mine type effects, it's very important to keep them off of their stuff. Anyhow, um... This is, it, I think the deck is kind of settling down into like kind of like where we're strong, where we're not sort of thing. Um, I am definitely, this might be the last time you see Obosh though in the Pioneer match. It's because like I said in the deck tech, it's not so much that like Obosh is bad per se, but it's really just that like I like having some life gain and Maze Mind Tome is just actually pretty nice being life gain, scry, card advantage, kind of all of the above. Anyhow, I will give a shout out to the patrons, Sneak, Sneaks, uh, Dave Molina, B08. One, two, Paul Wynn, Necrosis, Adrian King, Gavin Downer, Daryl, B Train 4, Savage Joes, Kevin Robach, Lona Sunderman, S. Robertson, HJCLIU, Irwin Lopez, Z. Cole Smith, Michael Patton. Thanks a lot, everybody, once again. Um, and yeah, until next time, hope you uh, enjoy.